Welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to be doing another episode of Tailspire. Um, going to be working on our current island that we were building last time. Uh, I only got the general foundation and I think like two buildings, maybe partially three buildings done. Um, and today I wanted to like kind of get into a little bit more and get the rest, or not the rest of it done. It's going to take a while to get all of it done, but get some more of the buildings done. So let's go over to island two. I really love how quick everything loads in this game. Going from island to island is actually surprisingly fast. Um, also, another thing that I was thinking about is the water is not that high in this one. I want to bring the water up. So I was thinking, actually, possibly the best way to bring the water up a little bit. Let's get rid of the water right now. And where's the edge? Yeah, and I do really want this map to be a rather large map. There are reasons for that um, as far as the campaign goes. I would like to just have everything be quite a bit larger, and I don't want to have to have multiple maps for it. Um, oh, it looks like we can't actually do that entire thing either. It looks like there might be a limit as to how far we can actually uh, go. Let me try one more thing real quick. If I go here, I can actually see it here. Might, there might be a limit as to... Yeah, that's how far we can actually go. Okay, so not a big deal. We have a way to work around this. So let's go over to... Let's bring up the, the map. Okay, so we got the grid. It's actually kind of hard to see the grid right now. There we go. Okay, so we got the grid. So let's go ahead and do the same thing that we were just doing. We're going to start... Here. Let's do it right here. And let's go all the way over to here. Okay, now I think we got everything. Oh, we didn't get that little part, but that's not a big deal. We'll, uh, we can just redo that one little part. Okay, co so cut slabs. So now we got that slab. We got a couple things, such as like people and everything that, uh, let's just go ahead and delete those for now. Um, I wish that there was an easier way to delete the people. There might be that I'm not aware of. Um, it's just kind of strange that you have to do so many clicks to get rid of a person, but other things you can get rid of them really quick and easily. So if there is a way to get rid of these people easier, I would love that. And if you are somebody watching this game and you know actually a quick way of getting rid of people, uh, please feel free to just let me know. I do not mind taking little tips and tricks here and there and uh, more efficient ways of doing things. Okay, so we got... We got everything that I wanted to get from that little uh, chunk of land. So let's go ahead and bring up the, the level a little bit. Now we should be able to paste this on this new level where if we... Uh, actually, let's lower the level just a little bit. It might be a little bit too high. Let's do it there. Let's go ahead and paste. Okay, so now we can go ahead and paste everything on this new level and um, reset the water. So the water can be higher now and it's not going to be so uh, so shallow. It was just a little bit too shallow. Let's go ahead and do it right right there. Why is it not letting me play, paste it? Oh, I know, because I just happened to be doing right over that redo thing. All right, let's do it here. It's kind of strange. One thing that I don't like too much is when you're moving stuff around like that, you can't see your cursor, but your cursor is still effective over things like that. It's not a, it's not a huge deal, but I do wish that it was a little bit different. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring the water back now. So if we bring the water back and raise the water up, Okay, I think we might have brought it up a little bit too high. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo this. We're going to bring the this down just a tad. There we go. Now let's try pasting it again. Just slightly lower. Bring the water back. Let's bring the water back down just a little bit. Okay, this is better. Now we have like the, the proper amount of like uh, depth to the water that I wanted. And uh, I'm going to have to redo the little pillars underneath that. That's not a big deal. I'll do that at a later point. But I really just kinda, I wanted to fix the height of the water. To me, it was just a, it was a little bit too um, shallow. This is better, though. Um, I'm not really liking this building. I'm probably going to change that. I'm not sure what I want to do, so I'm just going to leave it for now. But I'm not really too happy with this building. Um, I do have some other stuff that I wanted to do, though. So I'm probably going to start expanding out this way. Um, and I want to add some more mass over here because I kind of got rid of some of that. So let's go ahead and start that really quick. Let's grab this chunk right here. should be good, actually. Let's grab this chunk. Now let's go ahead and bring this up a little bit 
give me this weird issue when I'm trying to raise it where it's like, there we go, where it was like struggling to come up. Um, where am I? That is, okay, let's go down one more and then that should be fine. Uh, actually, I might need to go down one more. Yep, let's go down one more. There we go. There we go. That's how I wanted it to be. This is just an easier way of uh, getting the landmass higher. I was I was trying to when I was thinking about it, it's like I wasn't really happy with how high the landmass was, and I could um, delete the buildings and then raise the mass. But I was thinking, no, this is this is fine. I'm gonna have some couple little issues here and there that I'm gonna have to uh, fix, but that's not really that big of a deal, um, and I can always fix them later. And so I'm going to get the general basis of what I wanted started right now. And then later I'll go ahead and go get around to like fixing little things here and there. I'm just going to do one more row and then I'm going to start building another building. This town, I want to have like a rather big um, town and island or whatever you want to call it, a rather big community to it. And there's going to be a lot of multiple levels. We're going to go out much more this way. Um, I don't know. We might go out a little bit more this way, but not too much. But we're going to go out a lot to the back direction and a lot out to the right. Um, so for now, let's go ahead and start with another building. Let's do, let's do some sort of like shop right over here. I don't want these here though. I want it to be flush with this little kind of like town square. Actually, let's not do a shop. Let's do, um, actually, yeah, let's do a shop here. I have an idea for a building that I want to do right here. That can be really cool. Let's do the shop first to kind of give us a little bit of sense of, uh, a depth for this, this map. Let's open up the library. Okay, so let's do a shop. Let's just do a uh, uh, let's do a medium sized shop. Something in between these two, the the big inn and then this little like house. Let's do tavern. I just like the way tavern looks. It's very kind of um, middle ground for me as far as like vibe. It's not any one thing. It's not. It doesn't look just like a tavern. You can use it as a house or a shop or a tavern or whatever you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this started. Let's use let's use one of these and. Let's put it right here. And I want to have a lot of alleyways too. Some really big, some really small. This this town is going to be like the first town that we come to in the campaign that is part of civilization. The other town that we have, one thing that I love about this game is how quick and easy it is to go from town to town. So uh, this town is not part of any government as far as the campaign goes. This is like kind of like a, a privately run governed by the people of the town uh it's welcome to pirates pirates kind of do their business here and they kind of leave the people alone the the people of this island and the pirates kind of have like a mutual understanding and they kind of are self-governed however once we get over to this town this is going to be like the first town that's actually part of the government of this uh i don't want to say continent because it's going to be a series of islands but this is going to be the first town that we come to in the campaign that's actually part of some sort of a uh, government so i want to have right here i want to have like some sort of like a kind of like a governor's house or a mayor's building or something like that and this is going to be like the town square that kind of like leads to it all right so let's kind of work on this little building a little bit more i like i said i want it to be relatively small um not as small as this house back here but i don't want a huge giant sprawling building i feel like that's a decent size and i can always i can always change this later too Let's go out to, let's go to here. Now let's do one more of these. This one, I don't think I'm gonna have a, uh, a house in it either. Most buildings that I've done so far, I've had like the second story is kind of like a house. I think this one's gonna be just a, a building. Um, let's do this one over here. Oh, these are not lined up. I just realized, let's go back one. Okay, now let's do one more here. We're going to do one here and then one here. I want to do some more building types too in this map. Um, I specifically didn't want to use all the different types. I didn't use this. I haven't used this yet. I haven't used this until this map. Um, some of these I wanted to save for other islands. That way in the campaign, once people are playing it, kind of like there's more variety where you don't see everything all right away. So let's go back to Tavern really quick. And let's do... Uh, no, let's not do that. Let's do this. Okay, now let's do the floor. And let's do... 
I do like to try and keep with the pattern a little bit. It just looks a little bit cleaner, I think. And you can't always get it perfect, but I just like to try and stay with the pattern a little bit. All right, let's do a door really quick. Let's do the double door. And these need to go because I need to do the, the corner ones. I mean, the, the edge ones. Where is it? There we go. Now we need to do this corner piece right here. These are the kind of like little things, like little attention to detail that I'm really trying to do in the world. Um, if you go back to this map, uh, this one's not done, but this one is pretty close to done. And I've done a lot of attention to detail. I've done a lot of um, like little rocks and plants and a lot of flowers and cactus and um, all the edges. Well, actually, I shouldn't say all of them, but a lot of these like little square edges, I'm trying to like round off with rocks. Um, I'm really trying to populate the world in a way that looks actually like done, not just like it's a general map with a building and there's no character. I'm really trying to get into making everything look logical and real and yeah. So eventually this map is going to be the same, but we need to get like the, the foundation for the map done first. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do uh, the rest of the building. Let's do ceilings. We need to raise this up, though. It's easier to do ceilings when you just put the grid right here. Oh, wrong thing. When you put the grid right on it, as opposed to trying to set it on top of it. There we go. Okay. I don't, this seems like it's acting up a little bit today, like trying to move this thing. Not terribly, but a little bit. Um, this game is in early access, too. It's not a finished product, so little bugs here and there so far all the bugs that i've seen have been actually really really small and have very easy workarounds and aren't that um common either like i've had a couple little things pop up and i just kind of like delete what i did and then redo it and it works totally fine and sometimes like the little things that happen aren't even that big of a deal that you can just leave them like the little bugs so far that i've come across are are, are very minimal very small oh uh, although that was my fault i accidentally double placed that and that wasn't a bug, that was just my fault. Okay, let's go ahead and raise it up again. Let's, I don't want to do a flat roof if I don't have to. I want to do a full uh, angled roof on this one if I can. And I can, sweet, I don't have to do any flat part. We can just do a full angle that comes up to a little peak. And I'm not doing any fireplace on this, on this thing either because I do want to do just basically a shop. This is just going to be a shop. So they don't need a fireplace because we're not going to be cooking or sleeping or living here. Okay, let's um, let's do some decorations. I don't want to get too too deep in decorations on this building yet. But let's just do some. Let's do signs. Let's do a sign showing that this is a shop. Let's go put that right there. Um, and now let's do some lights. I did a lot of these at the last island, so I think I want to do some more of these on this island. Although that is the wrong direction. Let's go out this way. There we go. Boom. That's better. Okay. Um, what else should we do to this? Let's do some more signs. But let's do like let's do like this right here. So we're gonna do this right. Lower that into the ground a little bit. Do that right there. There we go. That looks good. Um, what else should we do? Are there any lights that I like? We could do this. Actually, I want to see how big this is compared to a person. It seems like the people are like the same size as this sign right here. So if we put this person right here. No, the, the light is bigger, I guess. It's not drastically bigger, but it is bigger. I kind of wish that, that sign or that light was a little taller, though. Is there a light that is taller? Not really. Yeah, I wish that they, like, that one's really tall, but that's like a candle. It's kind of strange. I do wish that they had a, a taller light. Not a terrible thing. It's just, it would be nice. Okay, um, I think I'm going to leave that building for now. Like I said, I, I am going to do a lot more to these buildings, but I kind of want to get the foundation for them done first. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, actually, let's get rid of this as well. Let's go back over here. Let's do cobblestones and let's do, let's go out. Do I want to do this? Thinking about doing like stairs going up, like this is going to be like a little walkway. 
Let's look at it. Let's let's build it and then see what we think. And actually, I got to do that differently. Let's do it like this. Um, yeah, that works. And then just for the sake of it, we're going to do this. This wasn't the most fluid way to do this like kind of design, but it works. Okay, now let's get some stairs. I actually like the castle ruin stairs, even though they are like ruins. I just kind of like the way they look. Um, look really quick. Other ones. Castle. Castle doesn't have stairs, which is kind of weird. The ruin does, but not the castle. But oh well. Uh, dungeon. What are the dungeon stairs like? If I do these, does that work? I mean, yeah, I guess it kind of works. But yeah, I think I just really like the castle ruins. The, the stairs, at least. They just have like kind of the island pirate vibe that I'm trying to build. Sometimes it doesn't let you drag like that. Like if you see how when I'm dragging, it's not doing it. But it just let me do it on the last one. That's one of like the minor glitches I was referring to where it is a minor glitch that doesn't really affect that much. You just do it the way I did right there and then it works. So that's most definitely um, a minor thing. Okay, cool. I like how that looks. So let's do this alleyway. This is a big alleyway. I want to do a lot of small, kind of like, kind of like dark and dangerous alleyways. You know, the kind of like you don't go in alone at nighttime. But um, this one doesn't necessarily have to be. They don't all have to be dark and dangerous kind of alleyways. Okay, let's go ahead and start this big, kind of like a governor's mansion that we would over here. Oh, it's empty. Okay, let's grab some more of these then. Although I want it to be a raised foundation as well. And not necessarily a raised foundation, but um, on a higher piece of ground than the rest of the buildings in this area. So let's go ahead and do these. Let's bring this ground up a little bit. That fits absolutely perfectly. Let's go ahead and do this again. Let's bring it up one, one set of these more. And here now let's do two of these and i'm gonna like do stairs like kind of like leading up to it okay so let's go ahead and get rid of from here to here let's do that yeah okay now i actually might move the fountain in the center as well um, I would like the fountain to possibly be centered in this place. So I'm going to build this whole area right here and then see how the fountain looks. But I might move the fountain, center it a little bit more. And then over here, I want it to be kind of open a little bit, do some some shrubs and trees and a little bit of greenery. So it's kind of like an open, like kind of like a the town center, if you would. Okay, let's get some stairs kind of like leading up to this place. I am really looking forward to um, starting this campaign as well. See, that time it let me do it. It's just kind of funky. Sometimes it doesn't let you, and other times it does. But in the end, you can always get it figured out, so it's not a big deal. Uh, let's do cobblestones first. So, no, let's do this one. Yeah, let's do this one. Actually, just one. And now do this one over here. And now we need these to go over this way. Stairs again. Let's go down one more. Should I go up one more? Yeah, I think I should. So let's go up one more. And then we're going to start the building. Okay, so... Oh, I need, I need this first. Uh... I didn't realize I was going to be going so high. <laughs> That's what we want for the final product, so it, it works. All right, let's do the same thing here then. Do it there, there, and there, and here. I'm wondering, should I place this or not? Yeah, let's just place it, and then we'll delete what we need to. I, I'm sure there probably is an easier way to delete things probably doing like the the selection that I did to do this thing right here but um I don't know, we're just doing it this way it works this way as well it might not be uh perfect or pretty Ooh, that's actually not level I'm just not realizing that 
Uh, let's just delete this whole thing then. Probably easier to delete it if I just do it that way. Okay, so let's do stairs. So stairs are going to be right here. Boom, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and do... How about we do it like this? If we place this again, bring this down, and then go into here. Okay, that works. And now, I think this is where the building's gonna start. So let's see what kind of pieces we have. Or should I make it go higher? Should I make it go one more? Uh, nah, I'm gonna leave it like that. All right, let's look at, I think, this one maybe? Now this one's really dark. Really kind of like gothic church kind of look. Let's see what else there is really quick. I, I still might do that one, but that one's really dark. I might just do castle actually. Let's build a wall and just see what it looks like. Um, yeah, I think castle will work actually. We'll just have to use a roof from somewhere else because for some reason the castle doesn't have a roof. But I think this one works fine. So let's go ahead and do what would be a good entrance. Yeah, that can work as an entrance. And then we can do pillars as well in the front. Okay, I think I want to get rid of one row. We went ro one row too high. And we were actually using two of these stacked on top of each other. So that's why it's so high. But I think we're just one stack too high. So let's just delete one row. Ah, no, we want that one there. And I think we're gonna actually gonna need to go back further, but instead of placing a foundation like this, we might be able to just um, build over nothing. I haven't had any issues so far of having tons of assets in the game and getting any lag or anything, but just in case, I wanna try and eliminate as many assets as we can and stacking a ton of, of tiles like this just builds a lot of assets. But so far, I haven't had any issues with it. So I don't know how much that matters. Um, let's go back one, because I would like to have a little bit of foundation here. Yeah, I like that, but let's bring this up. Let's bring these up just a little bit. That way, they're kind of like, the last final little stretch is kind of like leading up into that foundation. Um, so let's bring it down so it, it's flush. There we go, that works. There we go. One last like little kick right up into there. Um, actually, no, I don't like that. Just looking at it, I don't like it. So how about we bring this down one more? Let's do that. That's kind of how this game works. You do a lot of uh, trial and error to try and figure out what you want to do. And in the end, you get the result. But it does take a little bit of trial and error to get that final result. But let's just do this one a quicker and easier way. I think this is probably the quickest and easiest way to get rid of a, a group of these. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that many. Why is it going so many? So if we go down here, and then we start here, there we go. So now if we just cut this, there we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do this here. Actually, we know we want to do a corner. No, actually, we'll, we'll bring it out more of that to the side. So let's do that one again. Let's do that there. Do this one here. Let's do two of these, actually. And then right in the center, we want to have a door. Is this... It is, okay, it's equal. I was wondering if I have it centered, which I do. Okay, so let's do this one here and here. Oh, nope, that's wrong. Now we're gonna do kind of an entrance piece like this. Oh wait, no, I just remembered. I wanted to have one row of um, ground, but I like this ground better actually, so let's do this. And right, now we'll do the walls. So let's do two walls like this, two walls like this, two of these. Should we do this for the door? 
Yeah, let's use that for the door piece. Actually, no, let's do this. I have an idea for like a, a pattern on the inside of the floor. Now let's do a door. Let's do this door. I wish that there was a bit, a little bit of a fancier door, like a fancier double door, because we have, we have this thing, but which is definitely not fancy. We have this, but it's not a double. Although we could probably make it a double. Yeah, actually, we could do that. We could make that a double. Or we could do this. Actually, yeah, I like that. Let's do that. It's not as fancy as I would like it to be, but it still works. Um, is that too, is that too, like, a, for lack of a better term, epic? Like, kind of daunting, maybe? Yeah, I think it might be, actually. So what about if we do it like this? What if we do a double here? So we put this there, and then we put this there. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Okay, so now let's go, let's bring this out a little bit. Did I get that? No, I did not. There we go. Okay, so should I go, where is castle? Should I go here or should I go out one more? That's already pretty big. So I think that might be enough, but when in doubt, go big. So let's just go ahead and go out one more. I want it to be kind of like a centerpiece to the island. When people arrive to this island, I want them to to see like this big giant building. And this is really big. I actually might bring the roof down a little bit because that's really big. Um, I actually might even move this, which is cool about moving in the game. You can just use this to move things. That's actually something I really like. So I might actually move that. Because I want this to really stand out, and I want this as a big end too. So I don't definitely definitely don't want to downsize. I might lower the roof, but I don't want to downsize the square footage. But I might move it. Um, so let's actually go out one more. We're gonna do. I, I want to do a bunch of windows in the front too. I want it to be kind of. I want it to be kind of inviting. I don't want it to be like an ominous, scary building. I want it to be. Uh, a government building of some sort. So people that are pirates, for instance, might not really like it, but your regular everyday citizen of this island, I don't want them to be scared of it. So I don't want it to look like a dungeon. I don't want it to be ominous. So I want a lot of windows. I want it to be open and kind of inviting, for lack of a better term. Yeah, I definitely went one too high with these, but oh well, we're getting it taken care of now. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the sidewall. Oh wait, no, I wanted to go out to here. Okay, um, hmm. No, actually, I think this is good enough. Because that's really big. I think that's good enough. All right, so now let's go ahead and work in here. So I wanted to do kind of like a pattern for a floor, kind of. So what if we do like this? I want to try and figure out a pattern first. I, I want it to be like, fancy places that you go into and you see the nice interesting mosaic or something so what about this let's see what this looks like no i don't like that okay how about we do okay i'm okay with that and then let's fill in these over here. Okay, that looks fine. Let's do um, let's do some side walls over here now. Actually, let's get rid of this and do that. It looks the same from the yeah, it does. Um, let's do the same on this one. Actually, no, I have an idea. I want to leave. I want to leave that there. But we're gonna do both these side ones like this. That's the same, right? Yep. Okay. So let's do a side wall going out this way. Let's do another curtain one here, but then do regular ones here. Ah, I did a double and here. Let's do these two and then we'll do another curtain one here. Slowly coming together. 
All right, let's do some floors. Okay, um, how far back do I want to go? Let's do, let's do windowed again. Windowed again. Oh, I just realized that there's no music playing. Where is the audio? Oh, I know why there's no music playing. My bad, I just, I just realized I did something. When I was setting it up, um, getting the game ready, I was testing some audio on something really quick, and I turned down this little thing right here. Oh wait, no, there is music. Huh. Right, let's just go back into it and see if it plays. Or maybe I actually haven't set music yet for this island, because you have to set music for each individual island. So let's go back over to island two. Maybe there's no music. I love how quick this game loads too. Like it's a, it's not a crazy powerful game, but it looks decent. Silence. That's what it is. I messed up. But um, even though it looks relatively like silent or relatively decent looking, it loads very quickly. Um, what about this one? Let's see what this sounds like. I might leave this. Ah, no, that's too dramatic. Let's put it back on this one. Oh wait, no, yeah, the that brawl. Okay, um, do I want to go back one more, or do I want to turn it around here? I think we should go back one more. Get rid of this, bring this up. Go back to castle. Let's see what this looks like. Is this too big, or am I okay here? Let's go ahead and put this, and then we'll just build over nothing, for lack of a better term. Bring this down to here, and then whatever whatever we need to, we can just go ahead and um, fill the edges if we need to. Okay. And because it is raised so high like this, we can actually build a dungeon going down into the floor if we want. And I like this size. This works. So now let's go ahead and build a back wall. But the back wall, I want to do a little different than the front wall. So let's do this, this. Yeah, let's do one more. Now this is going to be open. I'm just trying to think of the best way to do what I want. So let's do this here and here. Do I want to do this? Yeah, that works. Now let's go back to doors. You might be able to figure out what I'm doing. Unfortunately, one opens in, one opens out, but I want it to be like kind of symmetrical like that, so that works. This is gonna be like kind of like a back kind of like patio area. All right. Um, should I make this pattern bigger? It's actually you no. Know, it's gonna be multiple rooms in here, and I might not even get all this. So I might have to change the floor once I get into making the foundation in here. So for now, let's just go ahead and do this. There we go. All right. Um, let's bring it up one. So where do I want to do the stairs first? I mean, this is going to be at least two stories, maybe three stories. Um, so let's do the stairs. Actually, I know what I want to do. Castles. Castle doesn't have stairs. What stairs work inside of a castle? Uh, not dungeon. Actually, wait. What a dungeon like? No, that's that's that are too dirty. So probably these. These are kind of like big and ominous, though. What about this? No. They have a lot of different styles of stuff in here, but I I do wish they had more styles because. Some stuff just doesn't quite work right. I think this might be the best bet, actually. And this doesn't really even fit in here, but like, might be the best bet for what we have. Um, actually, that or this, but these are just like, I don't know. I mean, I can always change the stairs later, so let's just go ahead and use these for now. Let's do it here. This is what I was saying. I might not even see all of this. So let's do that right there. But this still works. 
Um, now let's go ahead and drop this and that. You can probably tell what I am doing. Let's go ahead and bring this up to, okay, right here is where it needs to be. Wait, is that right? Yep, right here, okay. So now let's do um, same thing again. Let's go back to castle pieces and let's do, let's do this one. Here and here, here and here, and here and here. Okay, so if I do that, yeah, that works. Yeah, I know there is a bit of a, like, a little bit bigger of a gap right there, but it doesn't work. You can, I mean, it doesn't matter. You can still go over it, no problem. So now let's go ahead and do this, this. I don't know why I like doing circles on the doors, but I just like doing, like, the, the door sill or the door frame, a different tile piece if I can. Um, let's do one more. Okay, and then I'm going to do like some kind of like banister right here that's kind of like, ooh, actually, wait, no, I have a better idea. Uh, Got to get rid of this and this. Get rid of this. Okay, now I might need to go out more like this and then... Hmm. I'm trying to think about like how I can wrap the stairs around. If I do this, this is going to waste a lot of space, but it still might be a cool effect, so I might want to do it anyways, even though it wastes a decent amount of space. I'll build it and see what I think, and then I might change it. Do it this way. Yeah, let's do it that way. Um, hmm. So let's do this again. Yeah, I like that. I might change the stairs, the, the physical stairs that I have later, because I don't know how much I'm really vibing with those stairs. I like this because it's got many stairs, but I don't like how they're like old and like decrepit looking. I would love to have something like that, but that's cleaner. And the tavern... It's probably the cleanest one, but it's still not that clean. It's kind of like old and beat up and kind of like haggard and abused a little bit, which looks fine for a tavern. That one's just way too beat up. They look fine for a tavern, but they don't look so great in here. That's what I was, what I was mentioning. Like They have a lot of good assets. I actually really like the assets that they have in here. I just wish that there was a little bit more variety between ultra clean and ultra dirty. There's not that much um, variety between those two options. Uh, yeah, I think I don't like those stairs. I, I like this this layout, this pattern, but I just don't like the actual physical stair. Um, let's just do tavern, and then we'll do this. I just like these better because there's more stairs. They look more realistic. The other ones are just like too kind of ominous. So what if we do get rid of these? I don't mind the color because they actually kind of match the, the purplish pink or whatever you want to call it in here. But I think maybe we should do something like one of these here. So if I bring this up to there, there. Now what if I bring this up to here? Yeah, I actually like how that looks. It's kind of like a little bit more um, logical how it kind of like steps up to it. And then, so let's put this here to fill that little gap right there. And yeah, that works. Boom. I actually might, actually, yeah, I don't even need this now that I'm thinking about it. And that blocks the door if I do that, so it's actually better to not have it now that I'm just thinking about it. All right, cool. So we got that. Let's bring this back up now. Um, let's do the whole out, outside foundation first. Maybe I shouldn't say outside foundation, but the outside uh, frame, the walls. 
I don't think it's technically considered foundation anymore once you're on the second story. <laughs> I could be wrong on that. I'm not an architect, so I don't really know. Um, let's just do these for now, and I might change it to the one with the drapes later, but for now, let's just do these. And then same thing. Actually, no, I want to do it here, and then we're going to do it like this. Is that lined up? Yeah, it is. Thought maybe it wasn't lined up for a second. Okay, so now I want to leave this whole section right here open, but the rest of it I do not. So let's just go ahead and block it off now. Now let's get this one. And I might do a third st story too. I've been thinking about that um, when I started this, if I want to do a third story. And I might. I'm not really sure yet. So let's do, I think, one more. Actually, wait, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do this differently, actually, now I'm thinking about it. So let's get rid of these. Let's just do a row of this. Now we're going to do a row of this. Yeah, okay, that works. Let's find a pillar somewhere. Where is a pillar? I know I've seen some. I think actually, in, no, I thought it was in Dungeon, but maybe not. Castle Ruins? And that works. It's kind of dirty, though. So if I put this here, and now we put this here, how's that look? That actually doesn't look that bad. It's a little dirty looking, but it's not terrible. So let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. I might delete those two because I want to do rooms. I'm not exactly sure how yet, but I might. I want to do rooms. So I might delete these or I might move these. But for now, let's just go ahead and do it like that. Now let's do rooms in this top area. Um, I'm also wondering if maybe I should bring these stairs one this way. Like bring them right to here. Yeah, I think I like that better actually. So let's do that. Let's bring this one over. Do the same thing over here. Bring this one over. Then we're gonna bring this stair here. This stair here. I like that better. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna just go ahead and do. Oh, wrong button. Just do it like that. Now we need to bring this over to here. Just do the same thing here and then we'll just delete this one. And actually let's do this as well. Yeah, that looks better I think. Although this is not the right level. Too high. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks better. And then we're going to do banishes as well to make it look a little bit cleaner and a little bit more real and safe. But we'll do that another time. Okay, how do I want to do rooms? Um, and I might do a third story. Um, how's this look? This is definitely the big epic size that I'm trying to go for. Let's do, let's do the outside thing this outside patio that I was referring to. So let's bring this back up. Let's do doors first. And I, I want to do this because I don't know how big I want this shelf to be. Eh, I think that's good enough, actually. I don't want it to be a huge outdoor thing. Now let's go one over this way. There we go. Let's find a banister of some sort. Um, I don't know if there's any banisters in here, though. They might be in in this little thing right there. The items, I think, is what it's called. Yeah, they're all in here. Okay, so exterior, maybe? No, interior? 
Where are they? I know I've seen them. I just can't remember where they are now. Furniture. No. We're going to find them. Sooner or later, we'll find them. Container crafting. Wait. Container? No, I don't think so. Fences. Duh. Right here. Duh. Fences. So let's do this. Yep. That's exactly what I want. It looks like it's actually from the um, the Morgoth building, but it still fits the style that we want. I mean, the yeah, it fits the style. So do I want to just go straight across on all of them? Or do I want to do some of these? Yeah, I think I should do some of these, actually. Um, so if I do it here... No, let's go one more. Go and place this. We'll do this. This is the kind of thing that bugs me on these, though. They don't really line up perfectly. You really do have to kind of, like, line it up yourself. It's not terrible, but I do wish that they kind of snap together a little bit better. See, like, how high this one is? You actually have to hold Shift and then con Control and get it lined up how you want. And hope that you get it right. <laughs> let's go ahead and put that one there. Now let's do one more here. Actually, let's do this one first. How's that look? Yep, that looks fine. Do one more there, and then we need this. And I think that should, should be good. It's not terribly hard to get them lined up. It's just it doesn't snap together like the other things do. Ooh, looks like we're going to have a bit of a gap. So let's try something a little bit different then. Let's go ahead and try starting from the center and then going the other direction because these probably aren't lined up perfect. So let's go from the center. Is that right? Yeah, those are lined up. And now we're going to bring this one over to here. Yeah, this is the better way of doing it. Because these probably weren't lined up on the edge, right? But if we start from the center and then go out, it'll be better. This is too high. There we go. Now we just need this one to line up. Let's lower it. There we go. Boom. Now we got the balcony. But that's not really done. What is this? Because we need pillars to hold it up. And I think that there's another pillar somewhere that I could use. Not the wooden pillar. That looks weird. I felt like there was another stone pillar or something that I could use. Oh, actually, castle ruins? No, that doesn't work. Might just be this one. Although that is not lined up. Let's go to here. Yeah, might just have to do that pillar, which doesn't look terrible. If we have to do that, it's, it's not the worst thing. But let's see, is there another pillar somewhere? If we do those, no, that doesn't look right. You're not going to build this giant, kind of huge, mega stone structure, then use wood pillars just on that one little part. What about this? How does that look? Nah. Rural, no, 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 no. Is there a pillar in here? Ooh, what about this? What if we use this and then lower it? So if we go to here. Oh, there's an archway. archway. Never mind. I thought it was something different. This one kind of works, though. What about this? So if we, we could do this. No, I don't like it. Uh, it's too it's too boring. Ooh. This might work actually. So what if I bring it down to there? Yeah, I think that looks better than these. 
So let's do that. What about this? That doesn't look bad either. I think I like that one better though. Let's do that. I think that's it. Let's just double check really quick. See if there's another one. I don't think that there is, if I remember correctly, but I just want to look really quick. Dungeon. We have this. No, nah, that's too dirty. Now, I can't make this place exactly like I would like to make it. I wish there was some like different um, tile assets. But with what we have, I think this works fine. Castle. Mm, no. Okay, yep, we're going to use that. Although I think we should do it out here. So if we do this, now we have that little bit of floating slab right there. We can take care of that later. That's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, place it here. Oh, wait, no, we need to go up. Place it there. So should we do it here? Or should we do more? So what if we go here and then here, here and then here? Uh, I think that's a little maybe busy. Go ahead. If you're watching this, go ahead and drop in the comments and tell me if you think we should do uh, four or six. Because I'm not exactly sure myself. Oh, that doesn't look right. I, I just realized I had those in the wrong wrong placement. If we should do four or six. Um, this kind of works because it kind of almost lines up with these little like, spire things right there. But let me know what you think. All right, we'll come back to that at another point, though. Ooh, we might actually even want to be able to use these in here. Let's try that really quick. Let's grab one more. Ooh, yeah, I think this is better, actually. Let's use these. Do we want to do it that way, or do we want to bring it down and do it this way? Nope, the other way. Ah! Not what I meant to do. Yeah, that looks better. So let's go ahead and drop one more over here. I'm hitting some wrong buttons right now. Oh, well. That's not the game bugging. That's just me hitting wrong, wrong keys, wrong buttons. Um, should we fill this little line right here? I think we should. Even if we do a balcony, it might look weird having just that little section out like that. Okay, so now let's do the rooms that I was mentioning. So... How do we do this right? So I think we got to delete this then. So let's delete that and we'll put this right here. Ah, wrong button. Yeah, that works. Okay, so let's do the same thing over here. Is that the right level? Nope. Here we go. Let's go ahead and drop this there. Now let's do uh, let's do a window piece here. So if they want to like look out down below. Now let's do a corner piece. And then I think this is going to be open. We're going to have a balcony looking down onto it. Or should we do, should we do this over here, actually? I have a general idea in my mind, but I don't know exactly how I want to do it. I want to have a section that where the people from the top can look down onto the bottom. But I also want to have rooms up top. I don't want it to be all looking down. So I'm just trying to figure out what the best way to go about doing that is. Should I maybe... have the rooms like this. Have the rooms roughly this size. We could do that. That might actually be a better idea. Let's take a look at this really quick. Let's see what this looks like. 
So if we let's get rid of actually no, yeah, let's let's use that one. So let's go ahead and place this here. Uh, let's do this one there. And then we'll do a door right here. So we need a, a single. Where's the single? There it is. I'm trying to figure out, like, the single's got to be around here somewhere. Um, let's go ahead and put this one over here. Okay, so I think we're going to have to get rid of this. Wait, there's actually another way we can do that where we don't have to necessarily get rid of it. Let's get rid of this, bring this one over, do one of these. Although it would probably work if I did it on the right level. Like that. There we go. Now we'll do a single here. That way we can still keep the, that, that amount of windows. Um, now let's do it like that because this has to go this way. And now we're going to do this like that. We're going to need to do the same thing over here. So let's get rid of this, bring this in, put a gap, and put this and this. Let's fill this little hole right here. Boom. Now let's do another wall going from here. So let's just do one and then we'll do another. Oh, I did the wrong wall. I just realized. Unfortunately, it kind of sticks out a little bit like that. Is it doing it over here as well? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's just gonna how, how it's gonna be. You can't do everything in this game that you want, but you can do the majority of it. You, there are some things you have to you have to kind of like pick your battles on. Though it's like, okay, I can't do this, but I can do this instead. I'm just trying to figure out how many rooms I want, and if these rooms are even wide enough. I think I might do a third story as well that has bigger rooms. No, I think I'm going to do my original plan. Have this kind of like blocked off. This is its own little room right here. I think that's just a better idea. So let's go ahead and do that again. We don't need these ones yet. Let's go ahead and do... Not that one. This one. And there's still plenty of room that's open right here. Now let's go ahead and do... One more, I think, and then we'll block it off. Yeah, eh, that works. That works. It's not the not the prettiest looking thing, but I don't know the best way to go about doing what I want. So I think that's I think that works fine. And then we can always change it later. If I can think in my mind like a better way of doing something, I can always change it. I'm not like just permanently stuck with this. Um. Oh, I gotta rotate it. Wrong button. I'm trying to figure out where I want to place the door. Let's grab a door first and then we'll figure out where we want to place it. Let's not do that one. Let's do... This is kind of what I mean by the assets. There's not really like a really good inside door. I mean, we can kind of do this, but it looks kind of um cheap. And if we do this one, it's too much. I think we're just going to have to do this one. Oh, well. No, definitely not that. Nope. Yeah, that door it is. Okay. Go back to castle. Just trying to figure out how, where exactly I want to put the door. We're going to have to change this wall as well. Um, I think this is, put it right in the center is probably the best bet. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. Now we need to do this. And yes, then one more just like this. I think I went down one too many. There we go. Not the prettiest looking, but it works. It gets the job done. So that's room one. I don't know if I need to do the other room exactly the same. Um, yeah, we probably should. So let's go ahead and bring this out to here. Um, actually, I like how this window's looking down like that. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. 
they can go ahead and look into this common area if they want to. Then we'll block it like that. Oh, I did the wrong. No, I didn't. I just did it the wrong direction. I was going to say, I thought I grabbed the wrong one at first, but no, I just grabbed the wrong direction. Okay, so grab this, do the same thing. Um, yeah, place it there. And then when I need just one of, where is it? This. Boom. Oh, nope. Boom. There we go. And a door. Actually, let's have it going. Let's have it going inward, actually. What direction is this going? This is going outward. Let's have it going inward. Okay, boom, we got that. Let's go ahead and see if we can do banisters right here that make it look good enough. Uh, where would that be? Fence. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what banister piece to use. How does this look? It is floating a little bit, but not that much. And I don't know if this is going to look right. This might be just too big. And then we have this little thing right here. Although we could maybe just do this. No, I don't like that. I just don't. All right, we might have to come back to that. We might have to figure that out later. This looks kind of cheap. Yeah, we might, uh, we'll come back to that. We'll figure that part out later. Okay, so we got this. Do I want to do a third story? So what if I, let me, let me check something. Let's grab this piece. If I do, uh, one more? No, right there. Wait, no, that looks weird. Uh, one more. Boom, there we go. If I do this too, I'm going to have to move these windows because that looks kind of odd having the window right there. But I just want to see what it looks like. Um, let's go ahead and grab one of these. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do the third story. And if I do, where do I want to do the um, stairs? Well, that's definitely the big building that I'm trying to trying to convey as well. That's exactly the the size that I'm looking for. Well, I think two stories might be good. Yeah, I think two stories is good. So let's just leave it at two stories. So since we're only doing two stories now, let's do the roof. Um, where is? Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. I'm trying to figure out where where is the roof. Unfortunately, I think this might be the best roof that we have for this, and it looks a little, little uninviting. I'm just thinking, like, this roof doesn't work. This doesn't look right for this. we got to do something different. So I think this might be the roof, but the corners are so, like, intimidating. <laughs> the corners are not inviting. And unfortunately, all the corner pieces have that little thing. We could do an inside... I don't know how we would do that though. Yeah, I think we just I think we just have to do that that kind of intimidating corner. Don't think that there's much else option. So let's go ahead and do the four corners. Now let's go ahead and do uh, this one. I want to check something though. Let's do it like this. Trying to think if there's a, an interesting way where we can do this roof without having it just go straight up. There might be, but I'm not sure yet. I think I like having a, a multi leveled roof. Let's go up one more. Let's do the second level really quick. Let's 
second level. Now let's do uh, this going all the way across. Mm, yeah, I don't think there is. I think we just got to do it, just all of it. Oh, well, not a big deal. In that case, let's just go ahead and do this part right now then, since we're already right here. Now let's go down, back to where we should have just done it. I'm trying to think, and I've found some cool ways, but I'm trying to think of ways to make roofs a little bit different than um, just every other roof as being like the same thing. I'm trying to like put a little bit of creativity into the roofs. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah. Had my uh, fingers on the wrong part of the keys. I was trying to figure out why I'm going to the wrong places. I wasn't on WASD. I was one over. Let's go ahead and bring this up. Now let's do this. Do I want to go to a peak or do I want to end it right here? I think if I go to a peak, it might just be too much. It might just be too high. So I might just want to end it right here. Because that's already really high. And I'm afraid that if I go to a peak, it's just too much. So let's just go ahead and stop it right here. Um, let's bring this up. I think right here is where I need it to be. So let's go ahead and grab this. How's this look? No, we, don't, we want to go one more. Or one more down, I should say. I was thinking about just like doing a little bit different character, but I don't want to do any of the spiked ones either because I just, it's already like intimidating enough. I don't want to make it more intimidating. So there is our giant like governor's palace. Let's light it up because it's really dark. Uh, lights. Um, let's do this one. Let's bring this down just a little bit. There we go. And lights, go ahead and put this one here and here. Raise this up just, oh, wrong thing. Raise this up just a little bit. There we go. Should I do some on these pillars? Nah, I don't want to do any on the pillars. Maybe later. Where is it? It's right here? Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this up now. Let's do second story lighting. It's already like so much more inviting because it was really dark without these. Lights really do impact the um the level of inviting. Without the lights, it's just like really dark and intimidating. And I actually do have one building somewhere in, on one island for a campaign that has no lights on it. And that's very intentional. It's not meant to be an inviting building. That looks way better though. That definitely looks way more inviting. Um Let's do something about this right here. What do we want to do to make that level? Is there something in here that works? That actually looks kind of cool just overall. Do I want to do that all the way across? I think I do actually. For Just for the outside. Yeah, I actually like the way that looks for the outside of the building, not the inside. Okay, there, that works. Done. Okay, um, what else should we do now? Should we do some decorations around here? I don't want to bother decorating the inside of the building yet. Uh, I think I'll probably save the, the back for later. Let's do some decorations. Uh, let's, let's grab some rocks. Let's try and like smoothen out this little thing a little bit. So rocks, where is that? Nature, sorry, wrong thing. So let's bring this this way, bring it down. Let's rotate it this way. I 
See, that looks so much better, at least to me, than just the straight sharp edge. I don't like I don't like the straight edges. And I've seen some people that have made some really cool maps that have just straight edges. It's definitely possible. But to me, I just prefer having a little bit cleaner look like that. I just think that looks better. Um, let's just go ahead and get rid of all of these right here, though. I want to try and make this a little bit more finished. This this building's gonna take me a while to do. This building's probably gonna be the longest of any one project on this island. So I don't wanna do the whole thing all at once, but I wanna get um, a pretty big chunk of it started before I move on to the next thing. And cleaning up that little thing right there just makes it look a little bit better. Let's do the same thing over here real quick. And I don't think this is gonna be the only building on this level, I think. Um, maybe on this side, I might do another one at the same level, but for now, since I'm not exactly positive, I'm not going to go out further. Okay. That looks better. Okay. Um, now what should we do? Let me look at something real quick. This is going to be like the, the market, the, the center, town square. Yeah. This is not centered. Let's center this. Okay. Where is center? So we got one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's not going to be a dead center. So one, two, three. So maybe like here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three. So right, I think about here, I think. Let's just go ahead and place them roughly and then see. Um, no, let's go. Ah, where did this come from? I don't know where that came from. Weird. Let's go one over. So let's go over. Actually, let's go half of one over. I think that looks good. Bring it to there. Bring it to there. Okay, that's pretty centered. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, it looks like maybe it should move over that way a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. We'll do that later. What I want to do though is I wanted to set some sort of like market. So let's go to here. I, I don't know if I want to use this market or not, but I might. Let's just grab some of these first and then we'll use what we want later. And then I haven't really used these that much yet. I've used them a little bit, but not a whole lot. So where's a wall? This is a wall. This is a wall. Hmm, should I do it over here? Yeah, let's do it over here. I do definitely want to do something right here, but I'm not sure what yet. So let's do it over here off to the side first. Let's bring this out to there. And this I'm going to be covering it, so I'm not really worried too much about it um, being the same. And let's go one more. Boom, there, that looks better. All right, so let's bring these over here. Let's make a market over in this. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I just realized what I was doing. Uh, this one, no, this one. Okay, let's go ahead and make a market. Uh, this or this? Yeah, I think this. I don't want it to be a huge tent. And I, I haven't really used the tent pieces a whole lot yet. They're still kind of new to me. Why was not let me not letting me select that one? That's weird. Hmm, I don't like that. Yeah, it's still not that big. Okay, let's go one more. Do I want to do this? I'm not sure yet. We'll we'll look at it and look at some other things and then see what I think once I get some more set up. Let's look at let's look at the roof. Uh let's bring this up. What roof do we want to do? What if I lower this to Hmm, 
Wrong button. I wish I could have it like right here, just hanging off the edge like that. But I don't think I can. I mean, this doesn't look bad. This actually definitely doesn't look bad. Okay, do I want to do something different for the edge though? What about this? And then we could go ahead and do this one. Doesn't really leave a lot, whole lot of open space though, so I don't think that works. Yeah, no, I think this is the best option. Okay, so now let's go ahead, uh, before I end that right there actually, let's get uh, this. Would this be the best one? Yeah, let's do a thicker one. Let's try and get this as center as we can. The grid might help us. These pieces, luckily, you can place them at whatever section on the grid you want. So those ones you actually really kind of can get like kind of centered. Okay, so let's do this here, this here. Um, I think actually just that. Let's place a person in here. Or somebody that looks like a, a market seller. Human. Actually, what about a gnome? What do you look like? I think that one actually kind of looks fitting. So let's go ahead and put, put him right in here. This is kind of dark in here though, so let's get some light. Um, hmm. Doesn't look bad, but we need some stuff in here. We need some more filler. So let's find some filler stuff. And I've seen some cool things. What about, that doesn't look bad. Let's see what else there is. Ooh, I like this. Let's put this right over here. And let's put some fish right there. Although I think that needs to be higher. There we go, that looks better. What is this, a log? Um. Actually, out of curiosity, what's it look like if we do this? Yeah, I actually kind of like that. Yeah, I mean, it's really basic and doesn't really do a whole lot, but I just kind of like the way it looks. We got some fish, too. Nah, not no fish. I think we're going to have a separate thing for fish. I'll, I'll leave that one, but I might have like a separate thing somewhere else for fish. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. I meant to click this. That gnome's actually too small. But what if we put the gnome right here? Yeah, that works. There we go. We got a little we got a little market set up there now. And that is kind of like fitting for this area too. Okay. Um now what should we do? We should do some statues out front here. Is the statue too big? Or should we do this statue? Yeah, I think this one's better. That one's a little too big. It has kind of a ominous vibe just because of the size. It's kind of intimidating. I think this one's a little bit better. Yep, that's better. Okay. Um, I want to do something else. I'm not quite sure what to do. I want to do something here, but I just don't know what yet. Maybe we should just do some flowers there. Some some plant life and some shrubbery. and So what if we do... Let's do a smaller one. Do this here. Do some... Do a cactus there. We're just going to put some stuff here that just kind of like makes this place look a little bit more uh, 
organic and 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 real, like an actual place. Uh, no, not that. Nope, no leaves like that. Yeah, this one works. Let's bring it over here, though. Ooh, yeah. Some colorful flower. Let's do another one of these here and another one of these here. To me, when you start doing all these little things, this is when the detail of the world really starts kind of coming alive and it really starts feeling like an actual world that people inhabit. And without these, it's not terrible, but I think this is the, the final thing that really kind of like brings it up. Let's do some more of these. And especially considering it's supposed to be like a tropical Caribbean island, it should have things like this. Oh, not what I wanted. I wanted this. Um, let's do some more of these, but change the angle. That way it doesn't look like it's copy pasted. Even though it technically is copy pasted, we don't really want it to look too much like that. See, to me that looks much better. It's kind of like a little, like a, uh, kind of like a garden. Although I think maybe we might have one too many of this big thing right there. Yeah, that was just one too many. Not what I want. I want this. Boom. All right. Um, let's get let's get one of these rocks again to make this a little bit more smooth. Let's do it this this way right here. Uh, come on. Actually, wait. Let's grab another rock. Let's grab a smaller rock. Where is that other one? I don't remember these last time I was playing. I wonder if they added those or if my memory's just that bad. I thought it stopped right like here, actually. I'm wondering if they added those. What's this look like? Uh, no, it's kind of more like cave, kind of like, yeah. They look cool, but not for this area right here. Where's the one I'm looking for? Is this it? Yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this right over here. Do this right here. As you can tell, I just try to cover the edges and I rotate it in different directions. That way it doesn't look like it's just the same asset used over and over. Even though it is the same asset used over and over, when you just rotate it, it can actually give like a completely different look. You're looking at it from a different side and it looks totally different. You can tell it's the same one if you really look at it, but it doesn't look like just the same thing over and over and over, even though it is. Okay, that looks better. Um, now what? Mm, I don't know if I want to do trees right in front of this place. I mean, I might, but uh, I'm actually not too sure what else to do at the moment. Let's do one more building. Let's do one more small building. Where are we going to do that? Let's do it over. Let's do another building right down here. Let's do that. So this is going to open up and come down this way. So let's do it like, do it like that. And no, that's too big. Let's do it like this. Yep, that works. All right. And I need my stairs. Let's go ahead and put these right here. See, sometimes it lets you drop them like that, and other times it doesn't. I'm not really too sure why sometimes it does and other times it doesn't. The only thing I can think of is it's just a, a glitch. And if it is a glitch, it's a, that's a good example of a minor glitch that isn't that big of a deal. It's just I have noticed that sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. So it just makes me assume it is a glitch. Oh, wrong button. I did not mean to press that. I don't know what the point of that thing is. I haven't really looked into it yet. I'm not sure going into that view what the point is, but obviously there is something. They wouldn't give you that that view for no reason. Um, and I think we'll place the building right here. Let's do, let's do a house. Let's build a house. Uh, we're gonna use this thing again. 
Let's do this. Where do we want the chimney? Let's do the chimney. Yeah, we'll do the chimney right there. That works. Um, do this, and then we'll do a corner. No, we'll do a regular corner. Do it like this. Let's do a window. I think I'm just going to do a medium-sized house. I'm not going to do anything too big. One-story, medium-sized house. And corner piece. Actually, no. That's already starting to get too big, so let's do the smaller corner piece. Let's do this corner piece. It's already kind of starting to, to grow. And I don't mind having big houses, but I don't want to do only big houses. When everything's giant, it, it can get kind of uh, intimidating, for lack of a better term. I wonder if this is already too big. I think this might already be too big, so let's just do that. Yeah, that's a better size. Let's do one more window over here. Actually, no, let's do two windows. So I don't like this. Let's do it like this. There we go. Um, and a wall. Let me select it. Wall. And wall. Let's go ahead and fill in the floor now. And all these buildings that I'm not decorating the inside of, I will come back later and actually decorate the inside of them. Um, probably do that in another episode. It's just for right now, just for, for speed, trying to get the town set up. I don't want to decorate every single wall. I mean, every single building right away. Let's do it like this. I don't know why, but I like having um, I like having two windows on the sides of the wall if I can. Can't always achieve that, but when you can, I just like doing it like that. Uh, yeah, let's do it like that, going inwards. Let's do a roof now. Where am I? Tavern. There we go. Bring this down to here. There we go. I was having trouble moving it up. Just one more like I needed. And come on, there we go. Now we need this one, cover them and cover them. We're not gonna cover right there because we need chimney space, but we'll cover the rest. Oh, what happened? I don't know what just happened right there. That was weird. That's a good. That's another good example of what I mean by like sometimes there's just tiny little glitches that happen that aren't really like breaking in any way. It's just little things that happen, and you're like, oh, okay, well, I just got to do it this way. Luckily, they are small things, and they happen enough that I notice them, but they're not so often where it's like annoying. Should I do it like this? Yeah, let's just do something like that, just a little different, because I always do uh, like a double. I want to do something just slightly different, just for the hell of it. Okay, now we need a single going like this. Should we go up one more? Nah, we're going to end it right there. So let's uh, cap it off now. Oh, too high. I think that's still one too high. I think i got to go to there to cap it. Yep, there we go. I don't think I've ever made a house this size before because I've never had where there's just one like that. Might be a first time building a house that size. Actually, because I do, I'm trying to do some things differently. What if I do this really quick? Let me check something. Now, what if I bring this up and do this? No. This and this. This might look terrible. I don't really know, but I'm just curious. Um, yeah, no, it looks bad. I was just curious. I'm trying to make. I'm trying to like get better at making uneven ceilings, and I haven't really been doing so good at that. <laughs> So whenever I get a little like chance like that to kind of like experiment a little bit, I'm trying to like just experiment and see if I can find an interesting way to make an uneven ceiling. 
Um, but so far, no luck. Actually, let's just go back like this. There we go. Okay, cool. Now the town is starting to come together a little bit more. Let's put some lights on this place. Light it up. It's amazing how much the little things such as lights really make a big impact on the final product. They like they really kind of help sell the buildings that you're creating. Oh, there should be a light right over here. Although I'm using the wrong one for this building. Let's use this light. Center it right there. Um, yeah, that works. Okay, our town is slowly coming together. Uh, let's get rid of these. And let's get... Actually, no, I think for this one we should do this. And it's funny too, like you can be working on something for a while and it kind of doesn't really seem like you're getting that much progress. And then all of a sudden, it all starts coming together. Um, let's do it like this. And now like, ooh, this is going to be a little tricky right here. I think we might need to go like this. Bring this side out. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes you are, like I'm doing right there, you're using just the tips of an asset even. You're not even using the whole thing. You're just using small little sections of it. But it gets that little final product that you need. Um, Right to there. There we go. See, that looks so much better than just having the, the random edges, I think. Let's grab another tree and put it right here. Another one right here. And let's grab another one of these and put it right here. Let's grab a flower. One of these, put it right here. Let's grab one cactus. Put it right there. Slowly starting to come together. One of the biggest things of selling, like the tropical feeling, I think, is water and palm trees. <laughs> and actually colors, too. There's not too many colored flowers, but using the the colored flowers that you can get such as the kind of like orange pink cactus and then these these purple flowers it helps let's go ahead and place a few people in this town square because this is supposed to be a town square that's supposed to be have like hustle and bustle and life and people and there's nothing right now so let's go ahead and drop some people around here people that feel fitting uh, oh i just did that one um yeah Kind of like a missionary person. We'll do one of these right up here. Oh, wrong button. Uh, a bard, because what town square doesn't have some sort of music, right? Let's place him right there. Let's go look at um, what else there is. What are, what are you? I don't. Are you like a a Khajiit? <laughs> I don't really know what they are. Um. Nah, I don't want to put him up there. That seems kind of weird putting him up there right next to like the town capital. He should be somewhere, I think, like right here. There we go. Kind of like using the alleyway, kind of like to hide in, but he's not really hiding, but just kind of. Um, what are you? Some of these I haven't even looked at yet. Yeah, you work. We'll put you right here. I don't want somebody that looks like they're like mid attack, but I don't want people having weapons. You know, this is a, a world where people carry weapons on them. So if somebody has weapons, I'm totally going to use them. I just don't want somebody that looks like they're like in the process of battle. Like, like this guy looks like he's attacking right now. Um, let's put you over here. Okay, what else do we have? Halflings. Yeah, you work. You totally work. Let's put you right there. No. What are, what are you? Oh, no, you're attacking. I just did that one. What is this one? Now. Now. Um, who else? This guy? Yeah, we'll put him right here. See, it's slowly starting to come together now. It still clearly has a lot of work that needs to be done. But the world is slowly coming to pieces. and I mean, coming together and the pieces are starting to fall together and... I need to work on the dock more. I want to make actually big docks on this one. I want to be able to fit like four ships in these docks um, as opposed to the one in the other and three in another. And I'm not sure what to do here yet. 
But I think this is going to be a good place to end this episode. I've already been on this for well over an hour. And now you can kind of start to see how my my township is coming together. Actually, before I end it, end it, let's go ahead and do just this little thing right here. Let's clean this up. Um, where's that rock? This one. Actually, wait, no, not that one. I want some variety. No, not that one. Where's the one I'm looking for? This one. Let's do another one over here and bring it up and rotate it to here. Now we'll go ahead and do this one to kind of like fill the gaps. Just like that. I want to fill that little gap right. Oh, where is it? I want to fill that little gap right in between these this crack right here. So that, there we go. If you can get creative with rotating assets, that's how you really kind of like start like not being limited by just having the same ones over and over. Now, when you're building buildings, it's a little bit more tricky. But when you're doing things like this, to me, that looks a million times better than it did before. Is that floating? That is floating. There we go. There we go. I clearly don't want to do them in this area, but I really like these, the way they have this glowing effect. I really like this. And I have this in, in, uh, in a cave. I don't want to say dungeon, but in a cave I have this. I just like the glowing effect that they emit. What happens if we put two of them next to each other? Kind of becomes like a white light. Okay. But yeah, like I said, I think this is going to be a good place to end this episode. So if you are enjoying this, please feel free to like, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be streaming the entire construction of this island, and I have much more to do. I'm probably going to have 30 to 40 buildings on this island and a couple of basements and possibly a dungeon underneath something somewhere. And um, I'd like to have like a like, kind of like a armory, like a um, military base too. Uh, like I said, this is going to be the first island that they come to in the campaign that actually has some form of like governance to it. Um, this actually might be the main island in the in the campaign as well. The the main island as from the islands, I should say, from the um, the grouping of islands. I can't put words together at the moment. But like I said, if you're enjoying this, please feel free to like and subscribe so it can help me continue to grow the channel and get more content for you. With that being said, peace.